The Inter-Party Advisory Council, IPAC, has raised alarm over alleged Imo state government's imposition of 55 million naira on opposition political parties and their candidates before carrying out any political campaigns in the state. Speaking in Oweri, IPAC Chairman Anthony Ahaneku says there is nowhere in the world where a government in power imposes such heavy tax on opposition political parties and their candidates before allowing them to campaign. He says if the government continues with the taxation plan, all the opposition parties will have no other choice than to approach the court. This is the what they call the permit fee. Look at it here. Look at it. Look at the figure. The figure is um, 54 million naira plus other sundry charges. Plus other sundry charges. And again, Lastly, they said that the reserve, after paying all these 54 point something million, that the, 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 the agency reserved the right to ask you to do or not. Very obnoxious. We haven't seen this kind of thing before. It has never existed anywhere in Imo State. It has never existed anywhere in Imo State since 1999, at least, we know. And we ran an election in 2019, and we knew what happened. Even those who contested for presidency, presidential election, in Imo State did not pay as much as 54 million naira. With all these strategies that government is coming up with in the name of policy, in making sure that uh, our voices are not heard, will be completely resisted. In as much as the Electoral Act as amended 2022 and the provisions in the uh, INEC guideline do not bar us from making proper advertisement, selling our candidates, propounding and propagating our ideas in making sure that people buy into our views and ideas and making sure that we'll be able to realize the changes that people are yearning for, we will not be cowed we will not hesitate to challenge that incompetent provisions in a competent court that has jurisdiction to entertain some of these matters. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.